Waking up in the morning, thinking about so many things. Tell you how I'm doing. Not well, bitch. Pass the holy whore. Jealous of what? Your ugly leather pants? Should I bow to you? Okay. Damn it. Bad weather, tornado, spin the truth, destroy. <laughs> Hello, Beverly True. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills, and I welcome you to another day of intense tea. And right now, we need to talk about the Erica Jane show because finally things are moving, and this is huge. All right. Before we get into it, like always, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Do it right now. It really helps me a lot. If you are new here and you want to join the Beverly Troops, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, guys. And let's talk about this mess. Guys, I am here literally in the middle of Beverly Hills. Let me show you just because, I mean, about Beverly Hills. So let's just show you a little bit about Beverly Hills. <laughs> just this a specific street how beautiful it is guys so let's talk about erica jane because oof like this is the beginning of the end this is what i'm feeling okay so the other day erica jane tried to get a gag order from uh the judge so nobody basically to keep all her, you know, um, investigation and everything that is going against her to keep it private from the public. Like, she doesn't want anyone talking about it anymore. I'm guessing people like me or the blogs or, you know, you guys, whatever, she doesn't want that information out there. So she tried to get literally a gag order or, like, basically she tried to put all the information from her case going on private, okay? So, I mean, look, my only thing is like, why? You are supposed to be innocent, okay? Which she has actually never said that she's innocent, but you are trying to convince us, the public, the fans, the, you know, everyone, that you did not know anything about all the scams and the money and that you don't have any money from Tom Girardi and that you like you are these super angels or like just another victim okay so you want to play that card but then you want to you want to keep everything private why you know like if you don't have anything to hide why is she so afraid that of what is gonna come out from now on I mean like even if she if even if she was afraid of what people think or said she is supposed to be taking care of her image that's what i'm thinking right and it's like every decision is worse and worse and worse now remember that you know uh the, the trustee wants to hire Ronald Richards to you know go after Erica and then she also tried to put a stop on that, okay? Saying that there was a conflict of, you know, um, things and that she didn't want him, she didn't want him to go after her because of his approach and he, and because he was also uh, working with another company that uh, at some point went after her. So it was a conflict of uh, interest and a whole thing, you know, it's like, Everything that the trustees are trying to do to find the money to finally, you know, pay the victims, she is trying to put a stop out there. And you cannot, you know, help but wonder why is this such a big deal if you are innocent? You don't hear Tom, I mean, I haven't heard anything from Tom Girardi or his brother or his lawyer or whatever at this point. Everything is from Erica Jane trying to stop all the time every single part of this investigation so why why are you so afraid you know why she is she so afraid because a lot of shit is gonna start going out and people are gonna start really seeing erica jane you know her fans are out there being like oh people are innocent until proof 
different, you know, or you don't have enough proof, or you don't have this, or you don't have that. Well, if she's so afraid of this, it's because definitely there is proof out, th out there of what is about to come, right? I mean, that's what I'm thinking at the end of the day. Well, guys, this is not all the tea. This is was just the, the pre-explanation of the tea because the actual tea, guys, is that the judge has denied the gag order officially. They say, no, no, bitch. Everyone gets the right to know all the shady shit that you are doing. So they deny the gag order. So everything's still public. So we will still be able to know everything that is happening. Okay. And not only that, they have officially approved an investigation into her finances. Okay. Like this is official. Finally, guys, someone is going to go looking into those accounts and being like, where is this money? Where is this money? Okay. Why? Because apparently there is a lot of proof that Erica is in possession of property that belong to Thomas Gerardi estate and that this property might be worth over seven million dollars okay so I'm so sorry but like how are we gonna pretend that she is innocent anymore okay it's like every single time I always say it if you if she end up being innocent, I will be the first one being like, you know what? I'm so sorry. We let the best get of us, you know, and she is innocent with the proof that she's innocent. We will. I mean, you just had to apologize, you know, but at this point, if the judge and the lawyers and the trustees and everyone is going after her because they have proof. I'm so sorry, but there is no way that she is innocent. How are you going to tell me at this point, after everything, you know that she is innocent? That's why it rubbed me the wrong way when some of the other ladies are still friends with Erica Jane. Because at this point, today, nowhere where they're filming or what we're going to be seeing on The Real Housewife of Beverly Hills. Nor back then, like right now, how you can still be friends with Erica Jane, knowing everything that it's that we know right now, okay? People like Crystal Minkoff, who is like right there being like super BFF with Erica Jane. Lisa Rena. why? At this point, this is not an, you know, a regular case or, or like a regular scam case. No, this is millions of dollars from millions of victims. People who lost their life who, or people who lost their loved ones losing everything okay so like at this point i will be like sorry erica i mean i think you're a little bit shady and i don't want to be involved like i don't want my name to be involved with yours Ex especially in Beverly hills when like everyone knows everyone well i mean kind of makes sense that because they don't live in Beverly hills they actually live like in encino but anyways you know <sighs> so um it is a proof an investigation is going to start going on. Not only that, guys. Oh, no. Yeah, that's that for now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I got I got overexcited. Just like I have another video to do for you guys. But anyways. Uh, yeah, so there is not going to be gag order. We're going to be seeing everything. You know, every single move. Like, we already are seeing it on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. We already know, like, there are people literally taking screenshots and making lists of everything that she has. Like, it is insane. Like, she is not going to get easy with this one. We are already tired of criminals on our TV, okay? One thing is drama and stupid drama and stupid fight between girls. And another thing is hardcore, you know ruining life from people's drama okay so we are we i think we as fans and viewers we are just tired with that and we are gonna hold her accountable until she comes in a fucking interview or somewhere saying at least like you know what i i knew from this point point on or you know what yes tom asked me to please keep this money and and i kept it and I don't know. Some shit. Of course, we're not going to get it. I don't think we, she will ever, 
admit that she is wrong and, and she will never admit that she has the money. So this is the worst part because I had a feeling that we might not be able to find all the money, but I feel that we're going to find something. And I think just $1 is enough to take her down at this point. Even if she has $1 from this guy hiding somewhere, it go, it's going to be enough to take her down, you know? So she should really just, instead of keep saving that money and that guy's name, look, just give everything. I think, look, I think this is the last chance that Erica has to be like, you know what? Take the diamonds, take the clothes, take the house, take the cars, take everything, you know? I didn't know nothing, but you know what? It is wrong. It, this is all blood money. So just take everything and, and, and I will start from zero. This is the last chance for her to do this. Because after the investigation starts and they start actually finding stuff, it's going to be over. Not only on the real house, but like forever. Like no one will trust you ever again. Okay. You, I don't know, be better be prepared to live in like, I don't know, a random island or somewhere else. Like it's going to be bad for your, for her name, you know, for her persona, you know, like this is it, right? Anyways, I hope they recover that money because even if it, I mean, I we know that he owns like $70 million or like it's this huge amount of money. But even if it's only those $7 million that she's hiding, which I think it's going to be way more. But even if it's just those $7 million, at least it's something, you know? Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you think that they're going to find something? Do you think this is the end? Like, what do you think? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.